Awesome. All right, man, let's get into this album review. Woo. Tyler, the creator, call me if you get lost. <sighs> so this was released on June 25th, 2021. Yes, sir. Through Columbia Records. What y'all think about this album? Nah, you go first. You, you call go. on no. me. You said what? You go first. You, you have to go first. All right, all right. <laughs> um, for me, it was a solid listen. I liked it. It was better than Igor to me. Yeah, I like that he rapped more. I like how it started off. I like the vibe. It was smooth. You know, I like the DJ drama in the background. I like the content matter. There's a couple dull moments where it felt like he was just, just rapping just to be rapping. But I feel like lyrically, he improved. He showed me a lot of progression on this album. The beats are nice. The background vocals, I like the the features, you know, NBA Young Boy, 42 Doug. I like that shit. That was cool for him. Like, it's good, bro. Good little album. I would, you know, I fuck with it. What y'all think about it? Marlon, me or you? Where do you want to go? Now you want to go first? Or... Uh, I can go. I can go. I'll go first. Right, go. go ahead, Marlon. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Marlon. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> Listen, it's fucking, I go for it because, bro, as a per, as a fan since 2009, the growth and the progression is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. And just like, it's like he's like your best friend. You be wanting that nigga to win so bad, bro. Like, and, and to see that nigga could be like a top five in the game, like you have to you have to respect that honestly. Hmm. Like it's debatable. He could be top five whether you whether you like it or not. And it's just, hey man, it's the album, album. It's like, bro. He's pushed cre- the creative button every time. And you might well say his music doesn't even have a genre at this point. Mm, that's how you feel like he bro, he, he did it with rap and he told y'all niggas I can make an experimental album and y'all y'all niggas still love it. So it's like you gotta take that from the good and bad. And as an artist, as a whole, the creativity, bro, I think legit is a conversation to say he makes the be- he makes the most, I ain't gonna say iconic, but the be- the, the better beats in rap. You and like I said, just a hey, production, hey, look, he's up there, bro. It's like there's no comparison. You can't name your favorite rapper who could do better than him. Like, just saying, man. And at a point, hey, man, like every song really gave you different things. And honestly, I can't even name the exact song. It was like a song he was talking about his relationships and like, or how he was messing with his homeboy girl. It was just like, hey, man, the introspection of his tracks lately has been real honest or real different. Hmm. I'm just saying, man, at this point, how can he lose? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I really do like this project. Like, how like, how, how, how would you hate this project? Like, yeah, you really can't hate this one. Like, you can't, like, I like I just like how that, that first, that first part in the beginning is, like, sun's beaming, then the beat just kind of drop it, and he's just like, dang. I'm so impressed by the use of DJ drama. DJ drama sounded perfect on his album. Like yeah. at first, like when I heard uh Lumberjack when it came on a single, we were like, okay, he got DJ drama. It's just gonna be on one song. Mm-hmm. But then to have DJ drama on there almost as like a narrator and like a guide on like uh on like the train, like mm-hmm. of like of this album. Hey, bro, because like you know, if we saw if you all see, saw like the videos, like he's sitting on the train, he oh the black uh brown sugar salmon or whatever it was, mm-hmm. it just feels like the conductor is DJ Drama, and Tyler's a passenger on the ride, and he's talking to himself or he's looking out the window as the world passes. And it's that feeling where he's making you feel like, yo, you gotta go, you gotta expand your mind, you gotta travel, you gotta have some fun with it. And um, I, I like that he he he's looking at he's looking back on his life so far, a, a good amount in this album where you you have uh, like I think the, the interlude for blessed. And um, you can just tell that he just feels good and happy with where he is in life. Mm-hmm. And with, of course, his regrets of what he did in his con- Well, he does in a sense, he doesn't regret what he did with the girl in this in this in the album. He mm-hmm. just kind of hates how it ended. Mm-hmm. Um, the the tracks that really do stand out, all of his features work. Yeah, all of them work. Yep. From. All of our DJ drama stuff. I will say one of my favorite songs on there is Lemonhead. 42 Doug. When that man came in, bro, you hear the whistle. It sounds like a nuke about to fall in on the track. And he just kind of lands. And it's just like, yo, why is 42 Doug on here? And why does he sound so good? And every time the beat kind of like stops, it feels like you switching gears. And he just wants to keep it going. 
Uh, Lumberjack, we already know, was good. What? And he was in his bag on that shit, boy. Yeah, he was. He was. He was like, "Yo, I got to rap on this. I'm gonna do this." Uh, and then the, he just did his BT performance, which mm-hmm. was really cool with um his with like the whole stage being torn apart and mm-hmm. it's a lot of stuff. Um, as we know, like on all Tyler projects, track ten is always a two part song. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have like sweet. It's called sweet, and then the other side is I thought you wanted to dance. I don't mm-hmm. like it. Yeah. I don't like it either. I, I, I didn't get what he's trying to do with it. Yeah. So before we even got on and started recording, I was just telling Ben, I felt like I've heard it before. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like Thundercat mm-hmm. could have done something like this. Um, I feel I feel that Steve Lacey could have done something like this. Mm. Um, and he, like, I feel like, like it just really felt like something that I could have heard or I've already heard. That was and the only it, feature that was wasted. That Brent Fair's feature was wasted right there. I didn't even. I can't, bro, I, I'm listening to that song hella times. I still have cannot find. That's what I'm saying. I was telling Rod, I don't even know where he was on that song. Yeah. Um. It, it's and even like the second half of that song, it's just like I don't like this. No, no. Like nobody understands the direction of that song. It's like, bro, what was you trying to tell niggas? Like, I don't get it. Like, not for real. Like the oh yeah, we're trying to. Uh, I thought you wanted to dance. It's 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 okay of a song yeah. like it's not like that's what brings the album down like a point for me was it just was that even, song it was just like it was, i don't like it was, this. it was like it was like one of igor throwaways if you think about it hmm. it like, could have been on igor i could have seen it on there um yeah uh tyler and domo uh Dom, domo genesis domo but like mm-hmm. that felt good to have him back in on a tyler project yeah and um if you if you are a person who listens to him still like damo um he still raps he really and he can power. rap he can rap yeah he can rap so it's like i'm happy that tyler kept him and brought him on for this and especially with for what the song was about because they know the intro is like oh this white told me i should say something tyler don't mm-hmm. say nothing and he's he like <laughs> yeah man um he talks about that like and he's like yeah i feel like from the stuff that he says in the song, he's like, y'all might view me as a coon, but he's like, bro, I don't have the answers and I'm not going to add myself, my extra input into this mm. if I don't need to. Um, That's really deep. Yeah, he's like, Yo, y'all might call me a coon or whatever it is, but this is how I see it and I'm not going to really add more. Um, There's the, there's the talks of religion yeah, again like, on there. Well, who would look at Tyler for like political opinions though? Like, like what like what real input could you get from him? Yeah, mm-hmm. Super fans look for Tyler and for his opinions. Uh. The song with Little Uzi Vert and Pharrell. Told you, bro. I told you that shit was gonna be fire before <laughs> yeah. we even heard it. I knew it was gonna be fire, bro. I knew that shit was gonna be fire. Like that joke was hard. That Uzi man. verse was crazy on that beat. That shit was nasty, bro. I yeah. was like, that's the, it right the, there. Uh, the <laughs> and then he just kind of come in. He was like, yo, I like this. In. Pharrell hard. I like um, the visuals on that, the video too. Yeah, good. yeah, that shit was dope. Yeah, man. Um Mm-hmm. NBA Young Boy. Listen, bro. I heard the, even when he dropped the preview on YouTube, I knew that this was gonna be hard, regardless of how it sounded. I'm sorry, bro. I, you I oh, no, 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 no. Pause. This bit, Ross on bitch ass was really hating on Young Boy. <laughs> like, like, before the album came out, this nigga was <laughs> Young Boy. Bro. Oh God, bro, bro. Like, bro, that nigga is a goat, bro. Leave that, leave that nigga alone, bro. That nigga slid on that shit. Yo, I, I was like, wow. NBA Young Boy, but came man, that, on a Tyler the Creator song. But man, that's that's all. That good. Like, you know nothing about Young Boy, but you would know Young Boy could do some shit like that. Nah, facts. No, nah. like, I, I, I'm just like I was. I was impressed by it. Like it didn't make it be like, oh yeah, this is my weakest song on the album. Like it was one of the best songs on the album that you could see being used on like satellite radio, radio, whatever in general. And it just felt good. It was like, wow, mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah, dope. Cool. He did man, what this album cool. really showed me. Is that we need a Lil Wayne, yeah, Tyler the Creator produced album. We need that every shit, bro. Time, we need it bro. every single bro, that's time. That's my favorite bro. song, bro. To like, get damn, it. bro, that nigga spaz on that fucking beat, bro. I, I love the song. Do you know who would have made that song just a little better with it? Freddie with Gibbs. It? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought I was, the same <laughs> shit. I was yeah, like, yo, Fred, on the on this shit. Ball, that shit was crazy. Yeah, I was like, yo, I thought like, like and the thing shit. is, I really thought Freddie was gonna be on it because oh, God. Uh, <laughs> because Tyler was <laughs> on uh Alfredo. So mm. I figured, oh, Tyler would be like, hey yo, come on this because it gave you that um 
whatever song right. Tyler was on in mm-hmm. on Alfredo with like, mm-hmm. oh, the, this the boat I haven't drove yet, or whatever it was bought yet. Mm-hmm. I felt like he really was gonna put him on there, but he wasn't. But I but if Freddie came out and was on that song, it would have been even been. even better. That would have been the icing on the cake right there for real. Cause I was like, man, this shit sound like a need Freddie on it, bro. Yeah. Damn. Freddie would have made this hard. song so much better. Um, Wayne killed that verse. He in, did, man. Oh he always kill his verses on that shit. Yeah. Those, yeah, Tyler, because like, yeah, that's like the that's like the third or fourth time that we've had like a song where Wayne's on it with him. Um, yeah, even back when it was like Cherry Bomb, and then we mm-hmm. had it on Cherry um, Bomb, we had Flower, Flower Boy. Boy. Yep. Uh, yeah, there was nothing on, there was nothing on Igor, was it? I don't think so. I don't think so, but the, it it, it felt good to it see that, and yeah, like we, I would like, I would like to listen to a little Wayne project produced by Tyler. I need that shit. Just give me like six songs, man. That's all I need, bro. Six songs. Like I said, I'll take that over Kendrick out, bro. Wow. I'll take that over Kendrick out. <laughs> it's it's going to be a good project. It will be a great project. Mm. Uh but yeah, I um I you can taking tell it over Kendrick? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Why, bro? Because we need Kendrick. Like right like do, do you we? understand? We live in a world do where Tyler the Creator right now is holding one of the best albums of the year. In comparison to the stuff that's dropped this year, Tyler has dropped one of the better mm-hmm. projects of this year. I'm about to say it, Something that's it. not going to just come and then you go. He dropped the best album. You might just say he dropped the best album. Like, who, uh, who like we got a couple who, more months. Who, I'm not going to say that, but I will say so was, far, no, I'm, his I'm is saying. what's most impressive in comparison to the real mm-hmm. Cole world over here. Oh, no, no. He, it was better than Cole album. I'm saying it. Was, it. Exactly. The like, the year. That you sorry, telling bro. me yeah. one of the biggest names in the rap game has dropped and it wasn't Compare, you can't even be like, oh yeah, it's oh, it's it's crazy how bars. niggas switch up, boy. It's crazy how y'all niggas switch up, bro. Is it, is it really? Y'all niggas, y'all niggas is it really? fucking with that Cole album, but stop acting like, yeah, bro. I'm not saying it, it isn't. Look, fucking yo, with that Cole album, bro. In a comparison, is Cole album better than Tyler's? <laughs> Tyler ain't dropped yet. Is Cole album better than Tyler the Creator right now, Ben? No, it's no, not. Right, not, not even close. No, we live in a I've world where Tyler can create a better album than Cole right now. I've been said that shit. I said it was all right. Yeah, no, I, I said it was all right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So on a scale right. of, on a scale of one to ten, what do you give? Call me if you get lost. I give it a seven. Seven. Nine point five. Damn, Damn a man. A seven? Yeah. Give it a nine. Man. Count. So you, count. you think it's one yeah. of his best albums? Yeah. Out, out, of, uh, out of the last it's in the top three. It's like yeah. yeah, it's like top three for him. Definitely the top three, bro. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, bro. Nah. Like if you give it because like Tyler's best album is Wolf. Yeah, yeah, Wolf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, whoa, Wolf. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Wolf. <laughs> yeah, it's and Wolf. This is it's Wolf, they then it's... Um, What's his best album, then? What's his best album? It's Flower Boy, his best album. No, Flower Boy's number two. Uh, yeah, we'll put but that Flower Boy paid the bills for that nigga. I'm sorry, bro. Flower Boy. Bills. Which is fine, but yeah. it's Wolf, <laughs> It's Wolf. then Flower Boy, and then this right now. What's like, what, mm. what like all on the list, bro? Like, like this is like number three for him. Like it's not bad. It's four on the list for you, bro. I really can go. I really can go. Fly boy, call me if you get lost. Igor, then then like Wolf. Nah. Igor was not that good, bro. It, bro Igor, bro. Igor was good was for the time, good. but it wasn't like it was like oh yeah, this is like the best project for Tyler. Like it was acceptable. It was because it, it was like if you compare it to like Cherry Bomb, and then you look at Wolf, uh, uh, Igor, you're like okay, this is acceptable. If you compare it to uh, Cherry Bomb, yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty Well, if you good. compare it to anything in Tyler's discography, it was acceptable for him. It was for a Eagle good Eye. album. It was a good experimental yeah. album. Let's, let's, let's put it like that. It was good yeah. at experiment. Yeah, but it ain't top three, though. It was, better than, it was better than Wolf. Yeah, nah. Igor was better than Wolf? Nah. Yeah. The features? Yeah, no the features on Wolf? Not even a little bit, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to listen to Wolf again, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, so I just... Wolf feels so dated. To me, Wolf feels dated. I can't listen really? to Wolf. Like, who he is today, it don't sound right. Him saying, like, it don't sound like, right. You got the song, the song Colla- uh, uh, Colla- Colossus. He still, got, Colossus, he, he still got a hate in his heart. He still had a hate in his heart. It just don't, it just don't sound right. But it was like, it was like, yeah, I'm transitioning from the hate, but it felt good to listen to. It was he was like, in his bag. 
He was yeah, in his, That's what it was. He was in his bag. Oh, he felt he felt like a demon, bro. That nigga like he was hate bag. Yeah, but that him. like, but he felt good. Like, okay, Wolf was the perfect balance between his his old demon hey, like, side fact, of him and like him that, actually having some damn sense. Was that he was in his hate bag. Want to talk bro. about something? He, that nigga was in his hate bag so much that when he when he started to transition, what all like on songs like ants and shit, it, it sounded so off. Like it didn't sound right. But those were good. Like answer. No, I know they were answer, good. Answer. Uh. They were good songs, but, but at that point, it's like I didn't think he was really gonna like jump far left with it. I didn't even think. Well, it was gonna be yeah, uh, Frank on that shit. I think he had a uh, Erica Badu on that. Can shit, I say? If I'm not mistaken. Can I? Yeah, she. No. Yeah, I think I believe Erica is. Yeah, on she was on, like, Can I just interview. say Frank Ocean is the biggest troll ever? Because if I you don't, don't I, if you know I he's on, think... he's on. Uh, if you if you call me if you get lost, but he's he literally is? yeah he's that's him talking at the end of um Lemonhead. And I'm just like, why are you talking? Like Ty- yeah. Frank, Frank, Frank do Tyler it. does this. He lay me in the studio, and he'd be like, "Hey, yo, you want to just talk on this to get people's hopes up?" <laughs> Literally, that's it. Because there's no right. need. Like, you're not going to use him as a feature. What are we doing bro. here? Stop putting this man on projects. Frank does not want to make music, bro. It is what it is. But on a scale of one to ten, Ben, you're giving it a seven. Yep. I thought th- that's wild. That's low. It's good. Uh, we're going to get it. So I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a nine. Marlon, yeah, and you give it a 9.5. Shoot, there we go. Tyler, the creator, Igor. Oh, oh my God, not Igor. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Only, you know. on Only, Only on the Real Maddie podcast. Only on the Real Maddie podcast, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to check out more videos.